A sales page is a standalone web page that has a specific purpose. That purpose is to generate sales for your products or services. What you are selling on your sales page can differ depending on what industry you are in, yet the goal always remains the same, to get website visitors to convert into paying customers. Creating a sales page is the best way to showcase your products or services to potential customers to convert them into paying customers. Yet designing and building a sales page in WordPress isn't easy if you've never done it before. So in today's video, I will show you how to create a sales page in WordPress step-by-step -step with no coding required and no design experience needed. Hi, my name is Chris from Seedprod, the number one landing page builder for WordPress. Seedprod has a built-in drag and drop editor that allows you to build many different types of landing pages quickly and easily. Please subscribe to the channel for more easy to follow tutorials and to learn more about Seedprod and what it can do for you. As a bonus, stick around to the end of the video and I will share with you six elements that every sales page should include. So the absolute first step that we want to do is come to your WordPress dashboard and we want to include a plugin called Seedprod. So let's head over to seedprod.com or you can click the link in the description and we want to use the professional license of Seedprod. So click up on get Seedprod and get an account with the pro license. And once you're all set to go, let's click on login. On the left hand side, enter your email address and password that you use to create an account with and click the login button. Now you should be inside the dashboard for seed product. We want to click on downloads right here. On the right hand side, you'll see a big orange button. Let's download this. This is the actual zip file for the plugin. We also want the license key, which you can find on the bottom left. You can click the little icon here to copy that. We can now close this window. We're all done with this. Now let's head over to plugins and add new and upload plugin. And we can just drag and drop this zip file right here, or you can choose a file from your hard drive and select it that way. Let's install now and let's activate the plugin. On this page, you should be able to enter your license key right here and click on verify key. If everything went right, you should see a green success message. Now, if you have the same browser as me right now, you can close this little banner at the bottom. And on the left hand side, we'll see Seedprod in the menu. So we can go ahead and click on pages and you'll see different modes here. And this would be a great time to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, as I do have videos for all of these that you can check out and tutorials on many other features for Seedprod. So today we're creating a sales page and that is a type of landing page. So we can come down here and create new landing page. And Seedprod is gonna ask you to choose a new page template. You can also filter these by type. So coming soon page templates, 404, thank you, login, etc. We're looking for the sales page. If you're comfortable with designing this by yourself, you can start with a blank template. Let's sort these by sales. And now these are all the sales pages. They're all professionally designed and mobile friendly. So you can import these instantly and get a head start on your sales page design. So if you hover over each thumbnail, you'll see a little check mark. This will import this specific design or you can preview it by hitting the magnifying glass here. This way you can get a good feel and look for what it looks like. And then you can see the mobile version of it as well. So you can switch between that. You can choose this template or you can close this and come back and pick a different one. I'm going to go ahead and insert this one that looks fine to me. And you'll get a little pop up here, a light box where you can put in the page name and the page URL. I'm just going to call mine sales page, but you can, you can call this whatever you wish. Now we're going to click on the button to save and start editing the page. Now here we're inside the actual visual editor for Seedprod. Now to keep this video relatively short, I'm not going to go through every specific feature of Seedprod, but I want to give you a very good understanding of how it works. So here on the right side, we can obviously see the template that we just imported. And you can see that there's these boxes and they're color coded. So the, the purple are for sections, the blue are rows, and then we have blocks that are orange. So the sections and rows will give the layout to your page, but the blocks are where the functionality come from. So on the left hand side, we can see our blocks here that are offered by Seedprod. So we have standard blocks as well as advanced blocks. So we have everything from headlines to text, videos, images, buttons. We have for advanced, we have giveaways, opt-in forms, social profiles, countdowns, star ratings, etc. At the bottom, you'll see save blocks and you can actually modify a block and you can save it by clicking the little button here. You'll see these little tool tabs. And just to explain the tool tips here, we have move row. So if I wanted to click this, I could move this picture somewhere else. And this is also a good time to show you the undo and redo buttons here. So let's undo that. So you can go back and forward if you wish. The second is the cog wheel here. This is the block setting and each block has a set of options here on the left side. So the content for the image where you can align it, 
change the size, the alt text, and you can actually change that picture specifically, which we'll probably do in a minute. We also have templates, so you can change how this looks instantly by just clicking a button here. So you can't see it, but that put a white border on there, or there's a shadow on the image. And then an advanced tab. So here you can add different styles or whatever features are offered for that specific block. To get back to our blocks, we can just click right here and we can see these are back on our left side. The third tool tip here is to save the block. So if we change the style here, we can save that. And like I mentioned, you'll see that on the bottom here. The fourth one is to duplicate. So if we click that, you'll see another version of it. And then the last one is just to delete that. So that's basically it for blocks. And to add a new one, you can just literally drag and drop it onto the page here. So this is a video block that I just added and we can click the block settings. You can click the type and then this is a YouTube video. So it's just a URL to a specific video. We also have sections up here. Now these are pre-made sections that they will adapt to the specific de design of your page. So we have everything from headers, heroes, FAQs, footers, etc. So if I click here, I can just include say this FAQ page and it'll add it here at the bottom, which we can drag and drop and move it if we wanted to. But now you're free to edit this and change the questions and make it make sense for your sales page. On the bottom left here, we have the cogwheel for global settings. So we can click here and this will be global settings for our fonts, colors, our background and some custom CSS. So if you know custom CSS, you can enter some of that right here. At the top though, we have our fonts and you can change the header and body. So if I just pick a random font here, you'll see that the headers on the page will all update to that specific font that I selected. So there you go. And then the body text, the same thing for that as well. Now, if you're not sure which fonts go together, you can click on font themes and we have some preset ones that might be a good idea. So pick one that you think looks good for your sales page and then it'll update that for you. And then below the font, you can pick the weight of that. So if you want your headers to be kind of lighter, you can, you can do that. Next are the colors. So right now this theme has headers, text, buttons, links, and background colors already set here. You can change individual ones. You can also change them on the block level as well. So if I click the block settings, you can come to advanced and change the color here. Now this will always override your global settings. So make sure that you're aware of that. If something doesn't update and you thought it would when you change a global setting, there's a high probability that it has a block setting for a color in here already set. So if we come back to our colors, we can change these if we like, or we can select some of the pre-made color palettes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select a random one, maybe the purple, and you can see that the whole page here updated in a purple color. So we have buttons that are purple, the background is purple, and the buttons and the text. Now some things have not changed because like I said, these are probably set on the local level for that specific section. So you just, you just click the row here or the block or whatever the color is for, and you should see the background color or the color for that. And then you can update that right here if you need to. And just to mention the last little icon down here is for your layout navigation and your revision history. So if you click layout navigation, you can hover over and it'll select that item on the page for you. So this is a good way to narrow down a specific item if it's hard to select on the page here. So let's make a few changes just so I can give examples of how easy it is to actually change content on the page. So let's, let's select this image for example, and we can actually replace this. So anything that's in your media library, you can upload your own files into here, or also Seedprod makes it available to use stock images. So we can delete that image and then use a stock image. So in here, I'll just type in food and do a quick search and maybe something really colorful. So this one, so there's a new picture that I grabbed from the stock photos and we can align that if we want, but it's taking up the full width of that column right now. You can change the size of it. If you wish, you can add a link or we can come to the templates and we can add a specific design to it. So now you'll see a little bit of a white border around that for the text. We can do the same thing. Just click on that. And then you can just type in your text here. This is a, what you see is what you get editor. So you could select certain things. So you could italicize specific words if you want, or you could also underline it if you like add links and there's more options on the toolbar here. We can align that so we could center it, put it to the right. We can change the font size and we can change the level for SEO purposes. So in here, I could just type something else. And there you go. You now have a new headline and the same thing with the text. It works the exact same way. You can just change that in here, the alignment and the font size, your buttons. You can change as well. Click the cog wheel. You can change the text that's on here. So we can change the text here and that is updated. If you want, you can add some button subtext here as maybe a special and then the link for where this button will go. You can change the alignment if you like. You can make it full width and the size so you can make it small or 
super big, whatever you wish. And we can add an icon before or after the text. So here I'll just add a little arrow and click there. You can see that is added to the button. To delete that icon, it's just the same thing. A little trash can here and it's gone. We also have the templates. These are how the different buttons will look if you click on it and it'll change the color there as well. So we can do flat or round and you could come over here and change the, the style of that. So if we clear this, this will go back to the default color that is set in the global settings or we can pick a specific one if we want it to stand out maybe from the other buttons. And then you would work your way down the page and just make simple changes that make sense for your product or services. Now this is the footer down here and we do have a header as well. You can completely remove those if you don't wish to have those. And now would be a good time. Maybe we could add an opt-in form if you want to collect email addresses and then we could just modify this. We'll hide the name and just maybe the, the email only. And then we can align that as well if we need to and submit button. We can change the text on there. So something like that, sign up for an instant coupon code so they can enter their email, get a code, and then they could use it maybe on your checkout page. Again, we could change the template and the style of the field here. If we wanted to do something dark, gray, whatever, the option is yours. And now we can take a quick look at the mobile preview down here and we can just see how that page looks and you can go up and down and make changes that would look good for mobile and then just click it to switch back. So, so far we've only been working under the design section. That's this whole area that we've been working under. But now that we have a opt-in form, the emails can be collected and stored inside of the subscriber section of Seedprod in the WordPress admin, or you can hook up your favorite email marketing service. So here are the compatible ones with Seedprod and some other services like Zapier if you want to try to do other things with their API system. So for example, if you're interested in using Constant Contact, you would go to their website, create an account, and they will provide you with an API key and they have documentation on how to get that. They usually make it quite simple. Then you can come back here and click on connect and connect a new account, paste your API key in here. You can give it an optional name and click connect and you're ready to go. And lastly, we have the page settings here where we can, we have general SEO analytics scripts and custom domain. So general is your page title. We can change that here if we want the URL for that. You can publish it, but I never use this really. There is a drop down up here that we can select to publish it when our page is completed. We can add a powered by CPROD link on the page if you wanted to support the plugin and you could join the affiliate program to get a 20% commission. You can enable isolation mode. This is to avoid conflicts with other plugins or themes and it only loads the necessary files to run CPROD efficiently. Under the SEO tab, we highly recommend that you go with all-in-one SEO or analytics. Again, we highly recommend Monster Insights. And if you need to paste any code in the header or the body or the footer, you can do that right here. You can also map specific URLs such as this one to a custom domain. So if you want a shorter URL or a shorter domain, you can have your sales page go to that specific area. This is a great way to manage multiple sites with simple landing pages on them without having to install WordPress on all of them. So this would allow you to have multiple micro sites on WordPress and just a single installation of WordPress. So let's come back to the design. So after you've updated your, your logo or your header or all of the content and information on the page, you can go ahead and save this and we can preview this just to get a good look at it. So this is what we've created. I didn't change a whole lot and I would probably make it look a little bit nicer than what it does now. I was just showing you the functionality and flexibility of Seedprod. So if everything looks okay, let's hit the drop down here and click on publish and see the live page. And there, everything looks good. We can come back to the dashboard and go under Seedprod pages and you'll find that sales page down here where you can edit it, preview it, duplicate or trash it. You can also see the URL here. You'll also see this page under the normal pages section in WordPress itself. So here's the sale page here. And again, we could just click the edit with seed prod and that would load us back into the seed prod visual editor. So as promised, as a bonus, let's discuss six elements that every sales page should include. The first one is your headline. Your headline is like a pitch designed to hook visitors and keep them on your page. Number two is your copy. Copy is just another word for the text on your page. Your sales page copy should be convincing and to the point. Break your copy into readable chunks with subheadings or bullet point lists to make it easier to skim and read. Number three are images. Using imagery can really help break up the page if it's got a lot of text in it. 
At the same time, it'll show potential customers just exactly what your product or service can offer. Number four are call to action buttons. You should include a few call to action buttons throughout your page so users can take action and click on the buttons when they're most convinced that they are ready to buy. Number five are testimonials. Including reviews or testimonials on your page will reassure potential customers that your product or services are actually usable and useful to other people. And lastly, number six are videos. Using high quality videos are a great way and an easy way to explain what your product does without resorting to long form content. I hope this video really helped you learn how to create a sales page in WordPress. Now that you have a sales page, check out this video and learn how to create a thank you page quickly and easily using Seedprod. The video will walk you through step by step easily on how to use Seedprod to create a thank you page using our professionally designed templates. Using this thank you page, you can then upsell to further products or services that you may offer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.